Hello guys, it's me, Sean Gaming Wolfpack, and welcome to another episode. This time, it's Sean Dells 2. Yep, it's out. And, um, this time I'm not gonna be reading it by myself. Number one, sometimes I do kind of fail, and I don't wanna fail on it. Number two, um, there's a lot of words in there. I can guarantee you that there's a lot interesting ones possibly and um and uh i also got my computer up here so um got my computer over here there's a lot of words not joking so yeah um, this is this is gonna be reading it i'm just gonna be following along i guess um, yeah, you sick. Uh, two. Chapter one in the city. I fell through a portal from another universe and came back in a city. Well, what the heck happened? I'm back, but where? I said. I tried to find shelter. I made a fire in an old building, then I saw a shadow in the distance. Odd, it's probably side effects from the portal. I said. It almost scared me. It looked like it had a crown, but a shadow-like crown. Then I started thinking, could it be Savannah? Then I thought. It couldn't be I'm probably far away from my sister the last couple of times when we got in contact was when we seen her disappear and trap me in a weird Minecraft universe. It's surprising to see Savannah using dark powers and say sorry about it. With all that dark power she would really do that. I'm thankful to have my light glow stick I said. I eventually asked myself saying where are my friends. This is Chapter really weird. 2 The Talk of the Magic Glow Sticks It's odd to see that there are magic glow sticks out there. My friend Dennis had the glow stick of nature, fire, and weather. His brother Skyla, his stick had the power of lighting and supernatural and the unknown. I had the glow stick of light, stars, and the good. My sister had the stick of complete darkness and shadow. Her stick used to do good deeds originally, but I guess people want to think it different. Chapter 3 Shadow Lurks I don't normally feel that I've been watched but now that feeling stronger by the minute. At this point I'm feeling scared. I almost felt dread. Then I saw the same shadow again. After that my fire burned out. It was nothing but darkness. I never felt this scared in my life. I tried to light the fire but nothing is working. Then I tried to light it with the light glow stick, it only worked for a short time. Then I shook the glow stick. It finally lit up but there wasn't enough to show a lot of things. I had shivers up my spine. Hello Sean a mysterious voice said. Wait that's my sister. I said. Oh yes would you really think I would quit that easily? Savannah said. Where did you put my friends at? I said. Oh, scattered across the world. Savannah replied. You're probably wondering about the shadow dude. I found him following me, Savannah said. He told me he used to be the owner of this magic glow stick. He told me he used to be a king. Savannah said. Then I suddenly realized that the shadow was the evil king in the crystal ball he saw before I left this world. Chapter 4 The Escape Oh, there's a mistake in there, whoops. So I fled out of here as much as I possibly can. I'm in the city again at this point. When I found out that she can't find me anymore. I found a place to rest and sleep for the night. I made a fire after that and thought, why am I here? Why me? Chapter 5, A New Day. It was currently 7 a.m. I could barely sleep. So I got up started to find work for money. Somehow I found the docks and when I got there I saw a really nice looking man. Hello little lad is there something I can do for you mate it? He said. <laughs> Are you a fisherman here? I asked. 
I, I fish for a living my lad, he said. Oh yeah, I'm stuck in the city for a while without shelter and I have no clue how I got here. I said. I try to say I have no clue but I really do sort of I'm just trying to get the magic out of the way of normal people. Uh, I see matey you need money I'll let you help me fish for money food and water the fisherman said. Thank you I'll need to get to other places with this money. I said. You know if you become a good lad he'll let you ride a ship to whatever place you're trying to get I the fisherman said. Usually I'm good at that. I replied. I hope I can count on ya lad. The fisherman said. Chapter 6 Mon Rays I worked hard the next day. I'm thankful that it was almost cold weather I don't have to worry about dehydration other than falling in salt water. Every day I worked hard. I did fortunately love fishing in the summer. I caught many fish back then and so I did when I worked. Eventually I got the money a lot of it at the end of the week. Hey lad check the ship I got you for working hard the fisherman said. Wait really? I asked. I lad? The fisherman replied. Thank you. I said. The fisherman looked at me and said you're welcome lad. Where are you headed? Before I say anything I wonder where am I? I said. You're in the East Egg of America lad the fisherman said. Do you have any list about the people who board a ship? I said. I the fisherman said. I'm trying to find my friends named Dennis and Skyla. I said. Brothers right. It was Skyler the not Skyla. said. How did you know? I said in shock. Yar they came on my boat at different times they both told me about their brotherhood the fisherman explained. I believe the one called Skyla went to Canada in Niagara Falls and the other Dennis went to England the fisherman said as he continued. Chapter 7 Canada Depart Okay please take me to Canada Niagara Falls. I asked the fisherman. Okay it's nice seeing you my lad the fisherman said. Thank you fisherman. I said. Eventually I arrived in Canada. I went to Niagara Falls to see anybody there. Then my glow stick started glowing and more active the more I go deeper into the falls. Eventually I saw cave at the bottom. My stick became the most active thing when it gets closer to that cave. Then I saw Skyla lying agents the right side. Skyla remember me. I said is that really you Sean? Skyla said. Yes, it's me. I said. Show me the glow stick, Skyla asked. I handed over my magic glow stick. Skyla looked at my stick and his eyes widened. So how do we get out of here, Skyla said as he gave my glow stick back. I have money but I think we should look at scenery first it's Niagara Falls after all. I replied. Yeah there may be a problem, Skyla said. What problem? I asked. You know the cave here, right? I dropped the stick in there and the bears in there now, Skyla said. Wait, bears. In the middle of Niagara Falls. I said in a concerned way. I knew it was a bad idea to visit a cave under Niagara Falls, Skyla said. They chased me then I dropped my stick, Skyla said. I still have my stick. I said. Mine's powerful. I said. Okay lead the way Skyla said. We went in the cave through a small waterfall. It was dark after that we saw a light. Do you think that's your glow stick? I asked. Maybe Skyla replied. We went to the light and I was right. Skyla grabbed it and we have been visited by bears like the ones in Skyla's story. Run, Skyla yelled. So we ran as fast as we possibly could. Use the stick at them. I yelled. So we both did our magic as fast as we can then a burst of energy came out of our sticks flew at the bears. Two of them are down but there's three in total. There's a door at the beginning of the cave that has writing saying keep out. We went past it and closed then locked it. The key was just on the ground. We fled as fast as we could. Chapter 8 The Canidine Hotel we went to a hotel near Niagara Falls when we got inside there was a man in the front. I made keeping well, the man said. 
Yeah, doing well, thank you, I replied. Yeah, Skyla said. We need a room, please. I said. Okay, $15, please. The man said. I gave $15 to him and the man said let me know if you need anything mates he gave us the keys and number to a room and we went upstairs. When we got our room it was a big room with two beds, one shower, one bathtub, and one window. For me it's been a while to be in a hotel. This is a nice place they got here. I said. Before I went upstairs I saw a cafeteria I told Skyla that it was there. Sean you told me you had money right? Maybe you can get the food and I'll stay here, Skyla asked. I guess. I replied. Why do you always say I guess, Skyla asked. I replied saying honestly I do not know honestly then I went downstairs and went past the man we talked to earlier. The man said I mate can I help with anything. I'm just looking for the cafeteria. I said. Oh it's the left of the doorway mate the man replied. Thank you. I said. You're welcome. The man said. I got there and decided to get Chinese food. I always love Chinese food but he'll at least make to put some vegetables in there just to stay healthy after all that I went to the hotel room. Hey Skyla I got Chinese food. I said. Okay, unfortunately um, my um, memory just ran out so, um, so this is going to be part one. So, um, that'll be it, guys. I'll redo the chapter the next day, perhaps, if not sooner, if not later. So, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you have a good day.